एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर श्री वेला टूडे टॉपिक इज स्क्वामस ओरटोजेनिक ट्यूमर स्क्वामस ओरटोजेनिक ट्यूमर इट इज अ बिनाइन ओरटोजेनिक ट्यूमर कंपोज ऑफ आइलैंड्स आर शीट्स ऑफ स्क्वामस एपिथेलियम दैट लैक रिकॉग्नाइजेबल फीचर्स ऑफ इनामिल ऑर्गन डिफ्रेंसिएशन ओरिजिन इट अराइजेस फ्रॉम सेल रेस्ट ऑफ मैलासिज ऑल दो Hematomatous epithelial transformation is also found. Clinical features: age and sex. There is a wide age distribution in the range of 11 to 67 years, with mean age of 40 years. Females are more commonly affected than males. Site: It occurs with equal frequency in maxilla and mandible. In maxilla it occurs in incisor cuspid area in mandible it has got a predilection for bicuspid molar area onset it is slowly growing tumor symptoms it is usually asymptomatic but there may be mobility of the involved teeth pain tenderness to percussion occasionally abnormal sensation histopathology histopathological features are anastomosing islands of benign stratified squamous epithelium within fibrous stroma often well defined ness with clear cells may contain keratin or some of our bodies often epithelial vacuolization and microcis no atypia no mitotic figures no inflammation no peripheral palisading radiological features it occurs usually in association with the cervical portion of the tooth it is well circumscribed radiolucent area it presents as a semicircular or roughly triangular area border may or may not be sclerotic diagnosis clinical diagnosis it's not so specific radiological diagnosis semi circular radiolucency present between the roots laboratory diagnosis biopsy shows islands of squamous epithelium without peripheral palisaded or polarized columnar cells if at exploration one discovers a solid fleshy lesion which is associated with a vital tooth root on cervical portion then squamous odontogenic tumor is the most likely diagnosis management surgery conservative enucleation and curettage is usually curative with low recurrence rate thank you everyone hope you all like the video please like share and subscribe